video number 9 in this video we are solving the rising temperature problem of lead code mysql top 50 so the question is rising temperature and here we are given with the table name weather with three columns name id record date temperature the type of id is integer the record date is date and temperature is integer as well as you can see these are the data types and id is the primary key for the table this table contain information about the temperature on a certain day that means the temperature will be provided as per the record date and id we are expected to solve the sql query to find all the dates id with the higher temperature compared to its previous date that means yesterday so basically we are going to compare two record dates the current date and the previous date and we will find out the difference between them if there is a difference then we have to see if the temperature is greater so we have to return that id for example if you just see the input table and if you see the fourth value that is 4th 1 2015 the temperature is 30 but if you compare with the previous value of a third record the temperature is 20 that means the record that exists in the fourth row is 30 so it returned the id that is 4 similarly if you see the row number 2 there is a temperature 25 and when you just see the previous record that is record number 1 the temperature is 25 so it is greater so that's why it returned 2 but if you compare the row number 3 and 2 there is a temperature 20 written at the third record that is lesser than its previous record so it will not return the value 3 so basically we are now clear with the agenda what we have to solve right here and we have just read the explanation as well uh, what are they as expecting from us so the acceptance rate of this question is just 44.9 percent that means many of the people are not able to solve this question so the strategy to solve this question is self join so for that purpose we have to write the query that should be select a dot a is basically the alias right so a dot id from the weather table and we have to write the alias right here after comma we have to put weather b that is we are applying the self join with its own table because self join only applies in its own table so we just created another alias with b now what we have to do right here understand the difference between the dates my sql give the date difference function that we will be using right here we have to find out the date difference between the two uh, between the column that is same but with two aliases so we have to write a dot record date comma b dot record date is equals to one that means if we find the difference between them there will be a difference one will return the true value and there will also be a single condition that the temperature a or temperature will be greater than the temperature of b alias right so the second alias temperature will be lesser than the first alias temperature so when we just run that script as you can see the case one has now been accepted go on to the output what it returned so the output is same as expected so that means we have written the right query and we have solved the problem just press the submit button and check how many people we have beaten right here so congratulations we have beaten 86.28 percent of the people that is very high rate and we have solved our problem number nine of this series so meet you in a next video with an other 
awesome solution for average time of process per machine. 